All right, uh, James, you've got a, no problem with what Disney are doing. You think this is progressive and inclusive and all those moaning about it should shut up. I think you should live in the 1930s, actually, Piers, because that's where you belong, really, listening to what you were just saying then. Also, I'm going to quote Warwick Davis because he said he finds it patronising when people are offended on his behalf. Mm -hmm. And you've just spent a five-minute monologue being offended on his behalf. Mm -hmm. And I think that's ridiculous. Well, let me bring in Dylan, because Dylan uh, is also offended and he happens to be a dwarf actor. Dylan, I've got to say, I, I was very curious when I saw what Peter Dinklage came out and said because I did wonder who appointed him the head of the Dwarf Actor community. And it turns out nobody did other than him. And the people who it seems to me have really suffered in all this are the six Dwarf Actors who would have expected to have roles in this remake in a massive Hollywood blockbuster who are now not going to have that experience, all the money, all the fame that may have come with that. What is your response to that? So it's not a progression at all to me my issue with it is exactly what you said there are actors dwarf actors that live that, that dream to be in a major motion picture such as this disney remake and now because peter dinklage uh, said what he said last year now it's taken away and it's taken away because of quote unquote progression and all that and that's it's not it's not really it's not right because these are roles made for actors of my stature. Roles right. that aren't ever really given. I can't go out for the Harrison Ford or the George Clooney roles because that's not for me. These dwarf roles are for people of my stature. Right. And now it's taken away. It, it, I don't feel that's right. And not only that, but now think about the additional stunt actors or body doubles or that. Now you're talking multiple actors right. of my stature that don't get these major roles and why what's the real what's the reasoning because we're supposed to be progressive and we're supposed to just not view them as that well you know the these irony heroes the all irony. of these dwarves yeah. all of the all of the, these dwarves took care of snow white right they all had characteristics separate characteristics they weren't these cave dwelling monsters that that, that, that people speak of it's it's they all had seven different characteristics mm. for seven different actors that from my community and i don't i don't feel it's right that they got taken i taken completely away from us. and utterly agree with you and the irony is that they profess these progressives to want to do this to protect you right they protect dwarf actors from being you know somehow smeared but you don't feel that way at all peter peter dinklage spoke up about this and that was my issue. He had in the past no issue cashing checks that were made for dwarf roles mm -hmm. like Elf and all of that. Yes, he blew away the barriers when he did his, his roles that weren't necessarily made for a dwarf. But the Elf role was made for a dwarf. Mm. That check cleared just fine. So now that he's gone and done that, the progression of dwarf actors, he's... He, he, it just doesn't it doesn't sit right with me no, I can, that this sit. guy who is yeah. exactly what you said what what gave him the voice for all of our community yeah. why Com i was honest i think a complete, a complete hypocrite horn. let me bring joe we bring james back in so when james Piers morgan is agreeing with you i think you need to be concerned i'll say that for the so you're telling the dwarf actor what he should but feel I'm having not, literally, hang on and having, what having what literally say. just lectured me what I about say. speaking for someone in the dwarf community warwick davis you now accuse a dwarf actor. i'm not no it's not what i said i said that if anyone if you're siding with anyone you've got to worry right. what i'd like to say actually is that i kind of mostly agree with what you're no, saying no, no. And now you're it's, Sir, that's just taking a pot shot there. No, by I, saying, it, oh, yeah, it is Pierce absolutely Morgan taking a pot shot. Me. But I do agree with what you're saying. I completely agree with your point of view, and I think that's really important. But I, I can only speak from my experience. And as a gay man, I know that growing up, I witnessed gay people being villains in movies when I was... Seven seeing. dwarves aren't villains. And that I think stereotypes are really important to What stereotypes do you think and they actually, represent? in the universe of Snow White, wouldn't it be better I don't feel, if dwarves I don't feel are... This is a this I've... isn't a part of this about the stereotype. Right. This is about roles that were that were made for people such a, of my stature that don't 
have the chance to go out for other roles normally. But you, James so Bond, why you, you taking... want to stop Dylan I am getting not... a role in a Hollywood yes, film. I am not going to get into an attack on a dwarf. You don't want a dwarf actor to no, land a role I do, playing actually. a dwarf part. Listen, a why? dwarf can play a dwarf part, but I think it's important to change narratives that don't fit in today's society. And really, it Which might is be that better... Narrative? It might be better What's the, if dwarves sir, just exist sir, in normal me. roles everywhere What's, because they do exist. What was in so real bad life. about the way dwarves are depicted in Snow White? Have I missed something? Well, that, listen, I'm not that's, here to talk that's about. What I, that's what I'm kind of well, wondering. Well, well, I don't represent Tell Disney, but I'm just saying I think I see their point of view. What's their point of view? What was so bad about the depiction of the dwarves? Why are you What's so upset about a movie changing with the times and moving forward? Because I think, that, honestly, with great respect, really, there is real news we could be discussing. No, but this is real news if you're a dwarf actor who are now out of work because of virtue signaling idiots but you're just who using think that this... everything has to be rewritten you are just to be inclusive, as a cheap when in shot. fact it's not inclusive at all. No, you're using Dylan as a cheap shot to attack a Wokey. That's I don't happening. think Dylan feels I'm using him as a cheap shot. And what I would say about the Wokey thing is this. I have spent the last year listening to people tell me only gay actors should play gay parts. Only Welsh actors, and Michael Sheen, should play Welsh characters. And so on, and so on, I... and so on. And nuance. But the moment we have... Dwarf roles, which are the most famous dwarf roles in Hollywood history, then the only people apparently who can't play them are dwarf it actors. Dwarf and roles. I see there it's a cartoon stinking here. So me, hypocrisy. It has not changed. It was a cartoon. Those weren't actually dwarfs in the movie. They were drawn. Okay. So firstly, they were drawn as absolute, dwarfs. No, that is. But it's a story called dwarves. Dwarves. Sir. Well, they it's shouldn't be called that. They should be called. They shouldn't be called dwarves. No, they should be called people with dwarfs. They shouldn't be called. What's wrong with being called dwarves? Called dwarves? Nothing, but that's not the correct. That's term. the story. Dylan, the apparently story you should, you're not allowed to call yourself dwarves. Apparently, Dylan, you're not allowed to call yourself dwarves. Apparently. I would love to hear, what should I call myself, sir? I think you should call yourself whatever you feel comfortable with, but as a person... He calls himself a dwarf. A dwarf. That's, that's great, a dwarf. Then. Good yeah. for you. I'm happy to... So, that's... so now, but now, sir, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me pause that. So we, it, it shouldn't be called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It Listen, should just be I do not Snow want to get cancelled so because saying... I think your point of view is more important than mine right now. But what I'm annoyed about is Piers trying to take a cheap shot at someone that believes in society moving forward. Yeah, I'm actually because really, if I'm actually to... exposing the hypocrisy it's of not... the woke mentality of only gay people can play gay parts, only trans actors can play trans parts, and so I... on and so on and so on. I think we right get to the to point, a place where right to the point, can play Snow White role. and the Seven Dwarfs has to be cancelled because you're not allowed to have dwarf You actors. should be happy, Piers, because it means that now you can play your dream role of Grumpy. I would love to play Grumpy. I loved all the uh, dwarves in that movie. They were great. You, Let sorry, me ask now you, you're guys, being a hypocrite. Guys, You'd love to play Grumpy, but no, you're no, taking no, no, a role no. away from a dwarf The issue actor. at hand... No, I would play a fully grown Grump by, quite by, happily. By taking away a role from a Let dwarf. me ask you, Dylan, uh, about the Hugh Grant playing an Oompa Loompa, because, again, it seems to me... Oh, we've got a clip of him playing an Oompa Loompa. Let's have a look at this. So you're the funny little man who's been following. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. An Oompa what now? Allow me to refresh your memory. Oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Too late. I've started dancing now. Once we've started, we can't stop. So you're the funny little man who's been following me. Now, they use CGI there, Dylan, to effectively make him into an Oompa Loompa dwarf. So now... What do you feel about that? Yes, sir. So now... Now we're not only using CGI and spending extra money and, and funding for these movies when we could just cast dwarves in that role. Mm. Whether it be one dwarf or multiple, that, like they have been in the past, now you're taking at least one role away mm. or multiple roles away for Oompa Loompa characters. That, that's what they were in the past. And, and why, again, I go back to my, my, my stance on these roles, roles in Hollywood in general, are very hard for people of my community to yeah. get besides the elf and the leprechaun and this and that. So why are they being taken from my community? That's my issue here. Well, it's you know not why? You know why, about Dylan? The you know why? Because people like James here, they think it's progressive and inclusive. No, when see, in fact it's regressive. That, not my words, it's actually, regressive it and exclusive. I don't, your I don't. words, Pierce. I, I... Dylan. Pierce, I will, I, I will, I will agree with the mindset of it's not right. Uh, I don't know. James, James seems to be uh, in in partial agreement with me on the dwarf actors and the roles with that 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 these should be. But 
I, I don't on the other stuff. I can't speak on that. Obviously, it's that's I'm focused fully on the dwarf community really losing roles in these films. Yeah, I think James and starts with James all the starts SAG strikes with all the with all the writer strikes. Yeah, and well, the is, actor I, strikes, I do agree with you, and I think all I'm it, trying to say is that I think it's a nuanced conversation, and there's a mm. few different points of view that are valid. And ultimately, in my experience as a gay man, the reason we're upset about gay people not getting gay roles in movies is because we're not getting straight roles as well. And mm. until we are, it's unfair that those roles are taken away from us. So we, in that respect... What, what's that got to do with dwarf factors? Because they, something... they can't play well, regular size parts. I think P Peter Dinklage's original point is that he would like to see more dwarves in films in general, not just playing dwarves. That in general. What he said. Literally, I should... A, a person of my stature should be able to go out for the same as a six foot five, 200 pound human. But it's it's just not that way. And I'm okay with that. In reality, I'm okay with that. It's understandable to me. But when it's these roles that are made for people of my stature, yes. that's where I have the issue. You know what, Dylan? The movie, one of the great movies of all time, is called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. If, if dwarf actors in Hollywood are not picked to play those roles. I don't know what roles you're supposed to be playing. It's it's unbelievably I have, uh, patronizing that they've done this under the be, banner of so-called progression. And it's not, again, like I said, these dwarves in that movie in, in, or in this, this uh, story aren't viewed poorly, I don't believe. No. They're all separate characters yeah. that are actually heroes for this lady. Yes. And they take care and they take this lady in. They save so her. So viewed so well to society. They save the woman. Now... They're hardworking, they're wealthy, they they are kind, they are generous-hearted. It's hard to think of a more positive and, and so to go, narrative about any to people go, at all. Well, let's just go back to the 1930s, Piers. I think you'd be happy you there. You know what, James? Blackface would exist No, no, that, no, sir, no it's, it's not, not blackface. It's James, it's not blackface. It's not about and what you're now doing, happy. Happy. because you know you've lost, just being, you know you've lost the lost argument. No, there's no argument And you know you've been embarrassed by the argument. You're not embarrassed. You are embarrassed. You just said that doesn't exist. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. We agree with each other. Please. All right, you know what? You do agree with him now, because you realise the futility of your argument. James, you can't go and go, Oh, you got to go back to 1930s. No, no James, when you if you agree with what I'm saying, you can't I agree with what you're saying. I don't agree with anything say, that Piers. Yeah, here's saying. the thing, Dylan. Dylan, just he to be said, clear, he literally just said yeah, what I said, James. Dylan, just to be clear, he doesn't agree when I say it, but when you say it, he agrees. Because you're not and a that, dwarf. That right now, I'm not a dwarf. No, but that right there is the hypocrisy of the woke brigade. Uh, Dylan, well, okay, okay. Of, so let me let me just say, Dylan, I've got to let go. Unfortunately, quickly, please, Piers, quickly. Final word, Dylan. Piers wrote James. James, let me ask you this. So if a, if a writer writes a piece on what I'm saying, is it wrong of them? Because essentially, that's the same as the words yeah. coming out of my mouth. What? Yeah. yeah, but you're not saying that in I my... am a woke hypocrite, and Piers is, and that's what I disagree with, no, no, no. because I'm absolutely not. Mm. I, I, I... So I, when I'm saying I, I disagree right, with got, Piers, we've got nothing to do with your... We've got to leave it there. Just to be clear, Dylan, he disagrees with what I say, but when you say exactly the same thing, he completely agrees <laughs> with you. So, and that so annoying. is James Barr, right to <laughs> a T. Uh, Dylan, nonsense. fantastic having you on Piers Morgan Uncensored. You did a, such a brilliant job in highlighting why this is so ridiculous. Shame on Disney, and I hope you get another brilliant role very soon. I really do. Well, I, I hope so, too, and I, I hope that uh, this really kind of resounds with how my how I feel. Yeah. And I don't speak for the whole dwarf culture no. and, and community, but this is literally well, Piers how does. I feel. Piers Morgan speaks roles. for the entire Dylan, dwarf I, community. I've got to leave it there, Dylan. Speaks thank for you. all of you. Thank you, so Dylan, for joining me. And James, that's helpful, I think. thank you for joining me. because You're so welcome. You came on and you beautifully highlighted the, the shocking hypocrisy, hypocrisy of, of your culture. Absolutely.